Hi, everybody. Before Art gets to say hello, I just want to welcome everybody to Celebrating Act Two and tell you that Art is so happy that we are with Manny Pacheco today talking about movies, talking about historic Hollywood. Aren't you, Art? I'm, I'm so amazingly happy that I'm with John, who just stepped all over my introduction, okay? <laughs> and Manny, who is enjoying the hell out of it, okay? Yeah. And, but we have a preconceived notion of what we're going to talk about today. So rather than make people think that this is spontaneous, with John and I being former New Yorkers, New born, York? and, born and raised in New York, okay, we were thinking that how nice it would be to talk about films that were highlighting New York as a, New York was a central character. Do you think, Manny, there are a few that you could help share with us? Well, well, was there any New Yorker films, Manny, years ago, <laughs> maybe? Well, first of all, you guys are just great. I mean, I don't know what you guys have been eating, but boy, how lively and entertaining. Yes, dozens, if not hundreds of films have been made about the Big Apple uh, or Broadway, the Great White Way. I mean, it, it, it goes back even into the silent era. There's one film that stands out, my favorite, personal favorite silent film, The Crowd, basically uh, takes place in New York. And they have uh, King Vidor, who was the... Um, who was the director, has this wonderful panoramic shot of a, a tall skyscraper building, goes right in through a window, and then you see a bunch of people at desks. Famous, which is, famous yeah. film, you're right. And, and it's been duplicated a hundred times. I mean, the, the whole skyscraper mentality in King Kong, yes. of course. And um, actually, in, in a, a pre-code movie that I just saw uh, a couple of days ago, a baby face with Barbara Stanwyck, the same thing where they show the skyscraper of New York. And, oh, and wow. that, that's really been replicated. And of course, the other most famous and more recent in 1960, that same concept used in the apartment with uh, Jack Lemmon. So oh, there's yeah. those are four right there, right off the bat. The crowd, King Kong, baby face and the Very apartment, good. all celebrating uh, New York. Very you know, well, the one that first about... comes to my mind, sorry, John, I'll step on you now. The first one that came to my mind was Breakfast at Tiffany's. Absolutely. Yeah. Beautiful. How, how yes. could you guys avoid New York, New York? It's yeah. a hell of a town. Yeah, a with hell Gene of a Kelly town. and Frank Sinatra. New York. With De Niro and uh, Liza Minnelli. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, we, I mean, I, I, it, it, it's easy for me to go in order, but you know, you're right. Whatever's going to pop in your head that signifies that's a film about New York. There yeah. are dozens that complement. Breakfast at Tiffany's highlights the Tiffany yep. Jewelers. Mm -hmm. uh, New York, New York obviously highlights a song that's dedicated as an anthem to the yeah. city yeah. and made famous by, by Frank Sinatra. Of course, it was sung by Liza Minnelli in the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there are others. I mean, in the 30s, you had, of course, uh, The Public Enemy. A sure. lot, a lot of the dead end kids. I mean, oh, sure. In New York, and you think of Hell's Kitchen. Sure. That is, those are all New York or New York centric films. Yes. yes. Right. And and the dead end kids were obviously very New York. But many, many of many of those uh, uh, early uh, movies were actually shot in New York, whereas yes. Uh, yes. Uh, 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 in latter days, most of it's done in studios because they want to yes. control the environment. Right. And working on the streets of Manhattan were always difficult, okay? And it's even more so now when the tons of permits they have to yeah. get and yeah. so on and so forth. But when we say New York, we're thinking of Manhattan. Obviously, there are things that, that have been uh, more recently shot in Queens and I, uh, uh, Brooklyn and what have you. Go ahead, John. One of my favorite all-time films is called City Island. And Ooh. it's not Manhattan, if you know the New York metropolitan area. City Island's a little island in the Bronx, little, almost a fishing village. But it's a great, great story. And it, it, it contains my favorite scene of all time with, oh, why can't I think of the actor's name? De Niro? Or... No, no, no. He wants to be, he's a prison guard who wants to be mm. an actor. And he goes for an audition. And in his audition, now, mind you, this is an actor portraying a guy who's not an actor. And he goes for an audition. And in his audition, he is imitating De Niro. <laughs> and he's imitating him because he's not an actor. And he thinks that's what actors do. 
actors should look like and act like De Niro. And so somebody, the, the casting director calls him and says, are you trying to imitate De Niro? And he says, am I? I don't know. And they say, just be yourself. And then he changes his persona and he becomes a different character. This actor, oh, Andy Garcia. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember. Andy Garcia goes from a guy who's a prison guard to a phony actor to a real actor all in one scene. It's If you like acting, it's a delicious scene. Oh, there you and go. City Island is all about growing up and living on City Island. Well, I want, to, I want to stick with that note, but one more 1930s, and then I'll, I'll, I'm going to get back to what you've been talking about. 42nd Street, of course. The oh, Bus oh sure. Musical. Uh, okay. But getting to what you're talking about, a whole slew of these modern crime dramas, mainly because of the direction of Martin Scorsese, uh, A Bronx Tale. Yes. Goodfellas. Oh, well, yeah. I, I'm not sure that Goodfellas takes place in New York. I, you know, forgive me on that one. It the, was. But, but, there, but there is also Taxi Driver. Right. Obviously, The Godfather. Yep. Dog Day Afternoon. Yes. Uh, Serpico, Mean Streets. French oh, Connection, wow. I don't know, takes place in New York. It might take place in San Francisco, but I, I think it does take place in New no, York. No, no, no. He, he didn't actually, the chase was done under the L's. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's definitely New York. The earlier movies like Murder, Inc. in 1960 with Peter Falk right. and The Naked City with Barry Fitzgerald. Jeez. But there's a whole slew of these Martin Scorsese-esque films that are really on the streets of New York. Yes. And if you want to talk about some other writer directors that really celebrate New York, you can't forget Neil Simon and Woody Allen. Oh, I Good mean, point. their work, uh, as far as New York goes, Neil Good Simon, point. the odd couple Plaza suite and my yeah. personal favorite, the out of towners. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. yes it's a, just a wonderful film. And of course with Woody Allen, you mentioned it art Manhattan. Yep. Probably his best homage to yep. the city of New York, but there are others. Annie Hall, yep. Hannah mm -hmm. and her sisters, and of course, so, Broadway Danny Rose. What sets what sets uh, Woody Allen and Neil Simon movies apart, other than the fact that they're not about crime and death, and what, is that they always feature Central Park. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Central Park you know, is beautiful. You know that 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 uh, Woody Allen and and Neil Simon were on the cast of your show of shows as writers, yes. along with yes. Mel along with Mel Brooks yes. and, and and Carl Reiner. So yeah, so they were they were collaborators and they were very proud of their roots in New York. But there are others. I mean, West Side Story. Oh, if well, we don't it, mention West started. Side Story, and and Guys and Dolls, all these wonderful musicals on yeah. the town, yeah. all about New York and the celebration. Of the of the area, I mean, the, the the backdrop is New York, and it is clear that they want to celebrate the, the Absolutely. landscape. Absolutely. Absolutely. So those are good examples. I mean, so here's some here are some not so familiar. You brought one up, um, John, with 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 Andy Garcia. Here's some that I think of that others wouldn't. The Hot Rock with oh, uh, Robert. Oh, oh one of my favorite movies. Taking the film one, two, three. Midnight Cowboy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm, I mean, the I'm list walking just... here. I'm walking here. <laughs> and even how about All About Eve, where they spend time at the Cub Room in New York, where the yeah. elite meet. <laughs> and what yeah. about and, uh, I think. Blackboard Jungle wasn't that uh, based in New York? It could have been yeah. any major city. Yes. Yes, number, whatever it is. Yes. Yep. And here's one that's got to be an Art Kirsch favorite. Marty. How about Marty? Marty. Busher. The you could have been somebody, yeah. Marty. Yeah. And <laughs> and uh, uh, Waterfront, right? I could have been a contender. Was yeah, that, that, was, that yeah. was New Jersey. That was actually New Jersey. Was it? Yeah. Okay, we, give, we, New we give New Jersey a couple here and there. Yeah, you know, they're the step, they're the redheaded stepchild. A Sweet Smell of Success with Burt Lancaster and Tony mm. Curtis. Rear Window with James Stewart. The yeah. Apartment. I mean, the Apartment. On and on. And, uh, yeah, The Apartment. And of course, When Harry Met Sally. Yeah. Right. I want what <laughs> Did we talk, John, did we talk about Barefoot in the Park as well? Barefoot in the Park? Of course. Well, yeah. it's Neil Simon, so. Yeah. 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 yeah, so, yeah. Manny, what a great, what a great list. I want to know when somebody's going to make a movie about Parsippany, New Jersey. <laughs> 
<laughs> that ain't gonna happen soon. Uh, <laughs> let, me throw, let me just throw out one more on my list because I, 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 you know, I've listed just about everything on my list. There is one more. Okay. Tootsie. Ah, Tootsie. What is it? Tootsie. Tootsie. Oh, of course. All in New York. Oh. Every one of these in New York, and yes. uh, and you know. Hollywood should celebrate New York. It has such history. I'm going to leave you with this. All of the Broadway transplants, once silence went to talkies, all came from Broadway. Clark sure. Gable, Spencer Tracy, yep. Humphrey Bogart, Betty yep. Davis, Alan Jenkins, James Cagney. Now, they weren't all from New York, but they all worked on Broadway, and they were all grabbed by Hollywood. Hollywood has always had a fascination and love for Broadway and New York, and it yeah. continues to this very day. Yeah. And for good reason. Yes, I yeah. agree. Okay, so I think, I, I think we, can, we can rest assured for our audience that the three of us, and perhaps much of America and the rest of the world, can, can be very comfortable when say New York, New York is a hell of a town. The town's so nice, they named it twice. <laughs> For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.